Right, okay, so solve radical equations. All right, now, remember these rules from previous videos, okay? Root 3 times root 3 is going to give us 3, okay? In other words, it's root 3 squared. So in other words, if I square the square root of 3, I'll just get the 3. It's kind of like these two things have kind of cancelled each other out, okay? So I'm just left with the 3. So if I square a root of 2x, I'll just get a 2x, all right? In other words, I've kind of done that to this side, all right? So I'm going to do that to the other side. Now, 3 squared is 9. So can you see I've squared both sides? That's fairly easy to solve. Divide both sides by 2, x is 9 over 2, okay? So I squared both sides. Right, let's keep on going. Have a look at this question 4. Now, before I square both sides on this one, I need to get rid of this. It's not part of the square root. So I'm going to add 5 to both sides. All right? So I'll actually, this is what the question is. Square root of 6x minus 5 equals 5, because I added 5 to both sides. Okay. Right, so there's my starting point. Okay, so let's go ahead, let's square both sides. The easy thing about this left-hand side now, once you realise, is that's just going to be 6x minus 5. Okay, I squared the square root, so it's just what's inside, 6x minus 5. But now what's 5 squared, that's 25. Okay, so squared both sides. Now just do the algebra. Add 5, add 5. Can you see you're going to get 6x equals 30. So divide both sides by 6, number next to the letter, x equals 5. You can always test it if you want to. You know, put it back into here. Um, you know, plug it back into there and see what you get. Okay, so just one more. Uh, right, and I say one more, these are the kind of uh, bigger ones, all right? So look at this. Um, Okay, I've got that square root on the left, I've got other stuff on the right, it looks more complicated, but it's still square both sides. Again, what's easy about the left is having a square, so I'll do this again, let's just do that. Okay, and I'm going to square it, and let's do this. I know I'm going to square it, I'm squaring both sides. What's nice about the left is, again, that is all I will have left, just the thing inside the square root, okay, the expression inside the square root. Now then. What I'm doing with this on the right-hand side, remember, don't just square the x and square the 1. It's a foil. x minus 1 squared is x minus 1 times x minus 1, all right? So if you do the full foil on that, now you should be okay with those. I'm just going to write it. You're going to get x squared minus 2x plus 1, okay? Just do the foil. Right. Now, this looks like a quadratic, it's got an x squared in it, so the idea behind this is to solve it, put it equal to zero and solve. Now, this is where the x squared is, so it's going to stay there. So what I don't, I don't want the stuff on the left-hand side of the equation. So I'm going to take away 43, it's gone, take away 43, okay, from the number. Right, negative x, so add an x. It's gone. Add an x. Okay, so what I have left is this. Okay, well, zero, of course, on the left hand side. Now there's nothing left. I have an x squared. Now, what's negative 2x with a positive x? That's negative x. What's positive 1 take away 43? That's negative 42. Okay, so you look at this going, right, this is a quadratic, it's like going back to section 5.8 in the book, it's solve. So, what's two numbers that make negative 42 when you multiply, that make the negative 1 when you add? And that is going to be x minus 7, x plus 6, right? Again, equals 0. So, what are the two answers, what's the two actually solutions to this? Well, 7... Okay, so positive 7 will make that 0, and negative 6 will make that 0. So you've kind of got these two answers, 7 and negative 6. But let's look at this, okay? If I go back to uh, the original question 7, maybe I need to erase some of these little bits here. Okay, so let's have a look at this. Okay, so here's the original question. Let's just tidy up a little bit. 
Right, okay, now, if I plug a 7 into here, okay, there, 7, and also there, right, easy to do the right hand side, what's 7 take away 1? It's 6. Now then, what's 43 take away 7? That's 36. What's the square root of 36? Because it's still inside the square root. That's 6. So in other words, that's fine. That worked. I checked. Now, if you use the negative 6, all right, and put that here. So again, let's just erase this a little bit here and here. I'm going to replace the x with a negative 6. So negative 6, negative 6. Well, again, I can kind of do the uh, right-hand side easy enough. Negative 6 and negative 1 is negative 7. So that's what I get for the right-hand side. On the left-hand side, I've got to put it into the square root sign. Now think about this. 43 negative negative 6 is 43. Add 6, which is 49. What's the square root of 49? It's 7. And that is not equal to negative 7. Okay? So basically, that one doesn't work. So remember these with these quadratic solutions. Just check to see if they work. Okay? So the answer for this is 7.